Hello! So, you guys might already know this, but I had um, Barcroft TV, or truly whatever they go by anymore, um, come to my apartment to do a transformation video for their Transformed series, um, and it was actually like a ton of fun. Um, there was a solid like week where I didn't answer when I got the email originally because I was completely convinced that I was about to be scammed or murdered. But fortunately, I'm still here, I guess, so that's something. I have watched a draft of this already, um, but I haven't watched the whole thing complete. I think it's pretty much exactly the same because it's exactly the same length, so I'm sure they didn't really edit that much. So I have kind of seen it. I was contacted October, November to start this, and we filmed around... 15th of December, I'm pretty sure. Um, we filmed all of this during lockdown, obviously. Overall, I'd say I had a pretty good experience. The video's only been out for like less than a day as of me recording this, so I'm not really sure how things are going at right now. At right now, wow, good sentence. Right now, <laughs> shut up. Right now, the video is almost at 100,000 views, which is crazy. That many people have looked at me. Uh, I live in a very small apartment. Um, I live in a church that's been converted into apartments. And I also live in a bachelor, so it's just one giant room. Like I've said a million times, I will film an apartment video. I just like, I have to get everything clean first and it has to look really like perfect or else I won't do it. There were like a ton of people in my tiny little apartment though. In some of the shots you can see a little bit of mess. I only have headphones, so like, this is how I gotta do it, man. I'm not one of those hip young people with AirPods and iPhones and Spotify. Today we're gonna be transforming me into an Instagram model. God, I hate my voice. <laughs> I feel like it's I'm so going to, to look to. at myself and be like, who is that? <laughs> if I like it, I'm gonna have an existential crisis. That dress oh, is horribly unflattering. It's like a Barbie 8 Aaron. Yeah. I like to add. Also, I have to say, my sister is like kind of self conscious of her laugh, and people said some things in the comments. I'm like, I hope she doesn't <laughs> hear them. Things like fake blood and stuff is a lot for me. My name is Aaron. I go by Vampirin. I would define my style as a mix between 80s and 90s goth. I could not think of any way of phrasing the way I dress in a short sentence. It took me like the entire month to try to figure out how to word the way I feel like I dress. So between 80s and 90s is all I could really think of because it's just such a general term and those are the two eras that I'm really drawn to. It takes me about two to two and a half hours to put this on. It takes me two to two and a half hours with everything included, including eating and brushing my teeth. I can get ready in about uh, 10 minutes if I really need to, but if I'm really taking my time, it'll take about two, two and a half hours. Today, Melanie's coming over to give me a typical Instagram model look. Being normal is just boring. There's no point. Why live a life to be boring? A lot of people in the comments I saw were um, nitpicking the way I said I said that. I'm sorry, I said a lot of things and they just picked pieces of what I said. I have like a hard time trying to express the way I feel in my head. It's like really, really hard trying to sit there with a camera in front of your face and like explain why you're not normal. <laughs> like, I was a little bit in my own head, let's just say that. So this is my prize piece here. It is uh, my battle vest and I made almost all of the patches on it. I just love to put patches on anything. I didn't read a lot of comments, I just read a couple of them. People in the comments were asking, how do you have so many clothes? That is all of my clothes pretty much, other than my band t-shirts. And I just like have been collecting clothes for a really long time. I don't buy expensive clothes. I buy expensive clothes very, very seldom. So like I'm not this like person who's like you need to be like 
oh rich and like have all this stuff definitely not i make a lot of stuff and i modify a lot of stuff from thrifted items and like items that are given to me and handed down to me that uh fluffy jacket that i'm about to say i matched to my eyeballs was given to me as a christmas gift when i was about uh 17 18. i would wear this to match my eyeballs they have spider webs printed in black all around. But they Those boots were also a gift from one of my sister's friends. The things that I get that are really, really cool are usually gifts. And I'm so, so lucky to have like people in my life who understand me enough to get me really cool things. I just love spiders inside of them. I've never really thought about putting on clothes to make me blend in with society. <laughs> when I show up like this to Christmas, my mother is always like, did you have to wear the contacts? She'll be like, do you have to wear the contacts? Because she doesn't want my grandma to see them. And all of my aunts are always like, uh, nah, nah, nah. you got such pretty eyes. And I'm like, I don't care. The point of all of this is really just like, this is how I'm comfortable. And I don't care what you do. You can be normal. You can do whatever you want to do. But this is what makes me happy. And that was the point I was trying to make, but it didn't really come across. It doesn't really matter that much. I just like to feel like myself, and that's what you guys should do too. I think it'll be really interesting to see myself in an entirely opposite look to my own. I've never done it before, it's so beyond my comfort zone. I do want to do my own transformation video into like a normal person I can use like the stuff that I have here from them or just like do it from scratch I don't know I think it would be fun though I feel like I'm going to look like somebody else and when I look at myself I'll be like who is that that is pretty much my reaction honestly internally well, my first impression of Aaron when I first saw oh, her Connor, was he's so wow cute. <laughs> I only know Aaron as this Aaron do you see me holding on to my jelly bat there? I wonder. Oh, I've got him right here. I'm just like, <laughs> I'm such a toddler. I think you will not like it at all. People were also saying, oh, Connor's reaction afterward, he really seemed to like it. Like, he was really impressed. Wow, he like secretly wanted her to stay like that. Well, that would be really fun for the story. It's not true. Um, he really, really, really did not like it. Like, Really, I washed off all of the makeup as soon as everybody left. Hey, Hi, thank you. I specialize in super glamour, super pretty makeup. Really, that Instagram sexy makeup is my thing. This makeup artist was so sweet. She genuinely thought I was gonna like the transformation, I think, and I'm like, no, sorry. I also saw a comment of someone being like, why didn't you take your own makeup off, you lazy, lazy hoe? And I'm like, I did take my own makeup off. They just needed a shot of her taking my makeup off for like B-roll. I took my own makeup off. I'm sorry if you're offended that it looks like I did. I think the biggest challenge would be the hair. I'm not really sure how we're gonna get this makeup on. And the hair is where the challenge most definitely did come in. It looks a lot more peaceful and less pukey um, in the video. <laughs> the main parts of an influencer look, I would say, is definitely a lot of contour. Everybody else wants to look like they're tanned. I have to say, in my 25 and a half years living on this planet, I've never had a tan. So it was really bizarre to see myself in the mirror. And I like don't even know how to describe seeing yourself with a tan when you've been white as a piece of paper your entire life. It, I felt like I had somebody else's skin on and like, I ain't no Buffalo Bill. So right now we're completely faking this tan. <laughs> Lashes. Lashes are always a big thing. I love I'm pretty sure the makeup artist like makes those lashes. Like I'm pretty sure they're her brand of lashes. They're really nice. I still have them here. But it's such a different version of her. I love how bronzy she looks. I'm so excited for her reaction. <laughs> yeah, try to put it down. 
the wig. The worst thing of all. As soon as that wig went on my head, I was like, this is not okay, man. And it hurt so, so bad. I was in that wig for maybe two hours and partway through I started just violently vomiting because I felt so sick from being so tired mixed with having my brain squeezed. Okay, you know those viral videos of people like putting um, uh, rubber bands around a watermelon until it explodes? My brain was the watermelon and they, <laughs> they would get a reaction and I'd be like, one sec, fun times. <laughs> I am so nervous to see myself right now. Oh my god. <laughs> I never wear pink. So, fun fact as well, that is not the dress that they wanted me to wear for this transformation. Um, they sent me one from like a proper brand and everything, but it didn't get to my house on time um, because of like COVID shipping and everything. And this was in the very beginning of December. So Amazon was like, like, like on fire. Amazon wasn't on fire, but you know what I mean. It was, everything was going crazy. I have the dress here that they wanted me in and it's honestly dramatically better and fits me way, way better. I'll put it on at the end of the video. This is it though. It's like a similar concept, but it's a lot like less ugly. It's got like really nice sleeves as well. If I could dye this black, I most definitely would wear it, but it's gonna be pink forever. So it really doesn't matter. I'll probably sell it or give it away. I'm not sure. Might just donate it. Pink sequin is probably the worst thing I could imagine myself in. <laughs> I don't think it'll suit me at all, honestly. And it most definitely does not suit me. I walk so awkwardly. <laughs> uh, people make fun of me a lot for that, like through my whole life. <laughs> just like seeing it in person, I'm like, <laughs> Your legs really are on backwards, aren't they? <laughs> the outfit I'm wearing is a lot more flattering to my figure. This after picture, I look like a square box. Like I have a fat ass and I look like I'm like, I just look a lot heavier in the pink dress than I do, like than I actually look. It's like, ugh. <laughs> no offense, <laughs> but like, no. <laughs> I look like a completely different person. I like the how the dress looks. I don't like the color. I don't like the wig. I didn't like any of it. I was trying really, really hard to not be mean to her and be like, I hate it so much and like would never again. But I want to be open-minded with people. I want to like try new things and see, see what the hype is about looking like this. And I have to say, not worth it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like having eyebrows. <laughs> I will never have eyebrows. I mean, I personally love it. <laughs> I feel like the tan looks so healthy. I look almost exactly like my other sister. My sister is in the end of this video. She's coming up in a second. My, I look so much like my other sister when I'm wearing this wig. I love the brows. <laughs> oh, Actually, I, I look old. I look like, like a... I'm only 25, guys. I look like I'm 30 there. I look so old. Grown woman, and I don't like it. <laughs> I don't think Connor will like it at all. Look at my apartment, though. I'm not so sure cute. My sister will even recognize. Oh, uh, look at she Connor. He <laughs> like somebody else. She's He's been so dressing cute. this way since she was probably 12. I can't picture Aaron any other way. I was about 12 when I started being emo. I started like trying to be emo when I was around 10 or 11. I did not know what I was doing. I would just wear like a Spider-Man shirt every day. I was mad emo. I was like not a goth until I was, I was um, transitioning out of high school. I, <laughs> I loved Connor's reaction. Like my sister is a really dramatic person, so I was fully expecting her to be like, eh, 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 eh. but Connor is so quiet. So it was just really funny to see him be like, <laughs> he, was, he was so good to me the whole time. He had to sit there and do nothing and not look at me or anybody for like 
hours and I'm just like so grateful that he was there helping me and like he put my like sound equipment on and everything so check out his band it's like a Barbie A, Aaron. I, yeah. <laughs> what did you do with wow. my stuff? It's so weird hearing someone say my name. I try so hard to have people not say my real name on, on the internet, but it is what it is. They didn't say my last name, so I guess that that's all that matters, really. But I would really appreciate it if y'all would not call me by my legal name. Please call me Vampirin or Vamp or Vampy. Don't care. Please, not my legal name. Also, this shot here is hilarious and the first time I saw the draft I was dying me sitting there and just like my giant rat's nest of hair Sir, oh my goodness my tattoos are not covered well either we've never seen hair with eyebrows I hate it <laughs> <laughs> I'm just so used to being a little bit more like rough around the edges with a little bit of black at least a lot of bit of black Please. It's like astonishing the transformation. Oh my god. I'm not. I think a lot of people got hung up on the word astonishing. I think that people are taking that to mean that it was like he thought it was like good. He really didn't like it. Kidding. <laughs> if she walked by me on the street right now, I would, I would walk right by her. No <laughs> I would not recognize you at all. I probably wouldn't take anything from this look particularly, but probably just to like expand and try new things. Change her back. <laughs> that was one of Connor's very first reactions, him being like, change her back, change her back right now. <laughs> I was like, oh, my heart. Please. <laughs> I kind of like it. It's a little I feel weird. like she's lying, she doesn't like she's it. Pretty. I already knew that though. <laughs> oh, that last shot at the end is just so wholesome. I'm like, oh. I guess a couple things came out of that whole experience. There were some terrible things that happened, like pukerama, but like it was an experience and it was a lot of fun. After reading a couple of the comments, they're actually not that bad. They were a lot worse when the video first dropped, but a lot of people are being pretty sweet, so I'm not even gonna go on the Facebook comments because I know people are gonna be ripping me a new asshole. Thank you so much for watching it. I'll link it in the description down below if you want to watch the whole thing. Uh, without my commentary. Thank you to Barcroft TV slash truly, not really sure which one they're called, um, for having me. It was so awesome to have this opportunity and it just like happened to me. So like, I really appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching. Please never go know them all.